AJ, if the men on your softball, is it softball? If the men on your whatever team don't ask you out because you're butch, fuck them. It's their loss. I generally don't curse in videos, but I curse. That's how passionate I feel about that instance. Anywho, <laughs> um, this week, we're chatting about uh, best male friends who are straight, uh, who tend to want to ask you out. And, like, that makes sense, I guess. Like, I mean, every, every lesbian at one point or another has fallen in love with their straight best friend. We have many videos about it. So I feel, I feel like straight guys who have lesbian friends may also fall in love with them and want to ask them out. It, I get it. I, I get, I understand it. I, I am empathetic and sympathetic to their plight. Um, but let me tell you now, straight men of America who love, or not America, of the world, who fall in love with lesbians, you're not going to get very far. And I speak from experience as a lesbian woman who has fallen in love periodically through my life with straight women, it doesn't happen. I mean, you may get a little something on the side, but it doesn't turn into a relationship. So I, I totally agree with AJ on what her advice was, which, you know, tell your friend that it's a no-go and hope that he understands and gets it. And if he doesn't, probably something is not 100% kosher, you know, like, maybe, maybe you shouldn't, I don't know. Yeah, if, like, a guy doesn't get it, I'm always a little worried. Like, I got it when my straight best friend at the time was like, I like boys. I wasn't happy about it. I was actually quite distraught and depressed, but I got it. I understood. So, I really don't have much more to add <laughs> to the equation. So apparently I was also tasked with sharing the whereabouts of Jess and Cade. Currently Cade is over in London being awesome in London uh, so that's why he's not with us. He also has recently been promoted so his hours have changed and thus he's kind of trying to find the right time to make a video and post it. So that's where Cade is. Jess I texted her. We had a texting conversation. She is alive. She is well. She will hopefully be back, fingers crossed, very shortly. Uh, that was the latest update. So everyone freaking out about Jess. <laughs> Stop freaking! There's three other people here right now holding down the fort. Like, you gotta show some love for the rest of us. I get it. Jess and Cade are highly attractive people. They're really good looking. And they're awesome. I understand. I also understand your plight of you wanting Jess and Cade back. And they will be back. Just like AJ mentioned, it's a bit of a spring break. We need, we need a hiatus every once in a while. Um, and my excuse for yesterday was I've been working so hard that I actually forgot yesterday was Thursday. Totally didn't register that it was Thursday until 1 a.m., when I was getting into PJs and getting into bed after working up until then. So that's, that's my excuse. It's a shitty one, but it is legit actually forgot what day it was. On that note, next week I will not forget what day it is. So I will see you all then. Bye guys.